Ferrari's new 2025 F250 hypercar has been spotted yet again, but this time on the track. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where over the years we've learned it's best not to judge a car's appearance based on the spy photos. Prototypes don't usually use all of the production parts and too closer to the end of the testing phase, and that's the case with this Ferrari hypercar prototype as it shows some provisional components including quad tail lights from the SF90. Now the odd looking camo and blue tape can't fully conceal the hypercar's wild aerodynamic package, including the giant rear wing, massive air intake to the front and rear, and not to mention generously sized side air vents to improve airflow. Now, although there are no visible badges of the prototype, the Ferrari script can be easily seen on the brake calipers at both axles. And we know that the rounded exhaust tips sticking out from the center of the bumper are probably fake, since the actual exhaust is tucked away behind the mesh. Now, the rear view camera positioned above the third brake light probably won't make it into production either, but the massive rear diffuser does give the hypercar an intimidating look, as does the chunky front splitter. Now, cutouts in the roof reveal the crown jewel from Marinello, codenamed F250, which will have butterfly doors. Now, wondering if it still will have a rear window, seeing as there's camo over the entire rear section, you would think that's something they'd want to test if it was going to be put on a production car. Now, even if there is one, I would say that the rear visibility would probably be greatly hampered by that big rear wing. Now, by now, you're probably wondering what the stickers are for, and we've talked about it before, indicating Bosch was testing certain hardware on this prototype, while the yellow triangle is the Black Lightning logo that suggests the LaFerrari replacement will be a hybrid. So for the first time since the F40 era, a Ferrari flagship is widely believed to do away with the V12 engine. Ferrari could even slash the cylinder count by using a V6 instead of a V12. That might seem drastic, but at least don't forget that the 499p endurance race car also has six cylinders. The mid-mounted three liter unit with a pair of turbochargers traces its roots in a 296 GTB and GT3 race car companion. Now it's unclear whether the powertrain will have plug-in capabilities or if it will be self-charging hybrid setups like the LaFerrari had. Now when the wraps are set to come off of this 2025 Ferrari LaFerrari successor, well, it's supposed to come out in 2024, probably the end of the year, with plans for 599 coupes and 199 convertibles, followed by a meaner XX variant limited to just 30 units. We'll have to wait and see what happens from there, but what do you guys think about the F250? And what haven't I mentioned yet about the new prototype seen on the road? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys want to help further support the channel, check the links down in the description below. Give the video a like and check out the Rise Rise merch. Sub to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Rise Rise video. Peace.